Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here and today I have a fun vlog for you guys because I currently have tickets to go to the Christmas in the City special with Michael Buble. And as you know, I'm a jazz singer. I'm a big fan of Michael Buble. I've seen him at least seven times in concert. One, a private, a very, very private showing with like maybe 150 people. This one is going to be insane. It's at Rockefeller Center, aka 30 Rock. I think it's Studio A H or something like that. It is gonna be insane. They're filming it today, and then later on, they're gonna air it on TV. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't think you can actually film inside, but make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So now just a little background information, if no idea what's going on, normally every year, except for last year because of the pandemic, Michael Buble does a Christmas show on NBC. Now this year's show is gonna be a lot different. It's a live studio audience in Rockefeller Center, which I don't think last year's was. I think the year before it was filmed in Canada. And so this year they're having Camila Cabello, they have Jimmy Fallon coming by and a couple other special guests, including Kermit the Frog, and he has a 48 piece orchestra performing with him. Yeah, this is gonna feel like the old days of going to 30 Rock, like in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, where they actually used to have live bands and going, going to see a show like that. So I am so excited for it. Unfortunately, I have a ticket for Julia, but she can't make it. I feel really bad, but she gave me permission to go. I hope I don't regret this. Anyway, they say to dress festive, and so red and green, it has to be nothing with logos on it. So, um, Maybe we'll get lucky at the front row. Who knows, maybe you'll be seeing me on TV anyway. We'll get a head out, it's two o'clock and we have to be there by four. And um, I know I'm going early, but why not? What's kind of funny is I dress like this, like it's a warm sweater, heavy duty jacket. And uh, it's currently 62 degrees. <laughs> it was warmer like a month ago than it is today. I have no idea, but tonight's gonna drop to 40. Um, I don't know if we're waiting outside. I've never done one of these things before. You know, I, I have a ticket, but you have to go at four. They start filming like at six, and then you're down by like 7.30. So um, this is actually gonna be a lot of fun. Now, I think the last time I've done anything like a Buble con, actually any concert for that matter, was, gosh, a year and a half ago? So this is my first concert pandemic-wise, but, um, gonna be a-okay. They're requiring that everyone be vaccinated before they go in. You have to wear a mask inside the studio, but according to the paperwork, if you got a PCR test within 72 hours that came up negative, there's going to be a section for you where you can take your mask off. And so I got my test results. I took it, literally, they, they reached out to you and they're like, hey, look, are you interested in coming? Like, yeah, and then they told you like kind of what the ground rules were. And they said that if you are chosen, you know, just actually just be safe. Just go ahead and get your PCR test done now. So if you're chosen that way, you can come already prepared because as you guys know, let's say that you get your test on the 30th. Like I got mine on the 30th. And it takes like two to three days to get it. And so I got mine this morning at like, literally I woke up at like 11, 18, opened my email and boom, negative. So good to go. Hopefully we'll be in that mask off section. And then we're gonna jump on the bus, New Jersey Transit and head into the city. Now I'm off the bus and we're in Port Authority. We're gonna pretty much jump on the subway to 30 Rocker, Rockefeller Center, which by the way, they just put up the tree literally this past week. So it's my first time seeing a tree. Oh, New York City, the greatest city in the world. Well, that's what people are supposed to say, right? Anyway, we're gonna walk straight until we hit the F train and jump on there and get out at 30 Rock because there's actually a station under 30 Rock. You just get upstairs and head over to the tree or the check-in area. So check-in is at four, it's currently three o'clock. I made a little detour to go drop something off at Julia's work. So uh, we're making good time. And we're walking through the fashion district. It's always amazing to see all their clothes and check out the sample sales. Do yourself a favor, if you plan on coming to the city, schedule it around a sample sale because you can get like top of the line clothes at prices that are like 75% off. Totally worth it, totally worth it. We're actually coming up to Bryant Park and you know they have the entire village and the ice skating rink in the middle. 
definitely something to check out if you come in the city. I don't have to I don't have time to check out it now, but maybe another time. We just missed that train, but don't worry, there's another one coming right now. And then we'll be there. You can see our ride coming. Just gonna wave them down like a taxi. No, don't do that. Rockefeller Center. Let's go with the city. They always do a beautiful job decorating this area. You can see the trees over here. More trees and decorations over there. But of course, the most important thing is the Rockefeller tree. So here is 30 Rock. That's where we're going. And everybody's gonna get in line to get our tickets. And here is the main entrance with the Art Deco sign. How beautiful, all right? Well, let's head in, guys. We're in the waiting area. Woohoo! We got the tickets. Here we go. Wristbands, tickets, you name it. Woohoo! So we're in the waiting area for the show. That's what it looks like, everyone. How awesome, right? So now we'll wait here until they call us in. And they'll probably be in the next half an hour or so. And they give you drinks and snacks and just kind of get to hang out. Alright guys, we're lining up to head inside. Alright, gonna shut the phone off. See you in a little. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh my gosh, just got out and that was beyond amazing. So many things I had to tell you guys. So many things. Let me get outside real quick. By the way, I didn't know they ripped up the entire underneath section of 30 Rock. Like literally, there's nothing under here. It's kind of bizarre. You know, like there's restaurants and things, but Really empty. Heading out to Fifth Avenue. I love these vaulted ceilings, right? I know. Hey, let's head outside. Oh! Here's St. Patrick's Cathedral. Alrighty, I'm outside. I'm gonna walk past a tree to share with you guys and also tell you pretty much how everything went down. So once we got upstairs, phones off completely. They sit you down, luckily because it was by myself, I got to sit the second row on the second level. Because this was the studio where Saturday Night Live is, you'll know that there's two levels. One, first level, you're right on stage pretty much. Second level, it's upstairs. And the second row from there, and it was perfect too because he spent most of the time on our side. Now during the entire thing, I know for a fact this won't hear it, but he was cracking jokes and making just the, the funniest remarks, talking about his, how he's gonna take over every single holiday. Easter, Halloween, is it Spice Day, which is like January 22nd or something like that. Oh, here's a tree, let me share with you the tree. Look at the Rockefeller tree, oh my gosh. It's probably the best tree I've ever seen this. Look at this, it's amazing. Anyway, it's a really, really nice tree, but uh, I gotta get home and see my tree, my wife. <laughs> and so, uh, long story short, we were in there for about two hours, two and a half hours. They had so many guests on, as you can tell by now, they already filmed it and aired on TV. So they had Found, Camila Cabello. They had, oh, I feel so bad, Leon Bridges, I think his name is. So bad, I don't really know him. They had that one girl from uh, Ted Dasso, which I never watched the show before. So I don't know who she is, but she was really, really fantastic. Now more than likely, you're not gonna see me on your screen. Uh, because where I was sitting is pretty much where the camera was, like it was right in front of us. But I don't really care because I had such a fantastic time. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys had a good time too. I know I didn't get to really share with you guys too much, but hey, it's Hollywood magic. And I never been in the SNL studio with like that. So that was really cool. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to go, okay? I'll see you later. Bye.